Hi! As GMH celebrates our 13th anniversary, I want to say a huge thank you for being a part of the GMH family and for supporting our projects in Ghana for over 12 years. I have some really exciting updates to share with you today because GMH over the last year has been busy and our hard work is yielding real results. And it's all possible because of you and the support that you have given us. Now, as you know, GMH since 2010 has worked to improve the basic quality and availability of healthcare in Northern Ghana. And a large way in which we've done this is to ensure that rural underserved hospitals have basic functional medical equipment and that their nurses have up-to-date clinical training. Now, in all the years of our educational projects, you've never heard me talk about physicians. And this is because there are so few and far between physicians in Northern Ghana. I didn't really think this was something that could change, but here's where we've changed our attitude. Imagine you are a young physician in Ghana deciding where to work. Why would you choose to work in an area where you have almost no opportunities for ongoing learning and yet work in a constantly evolving field and where you'd be the sole physician for tens of thousands of people? You're gonna refuse that job. So GMH has honed in on this issue, flipped things around and turned Northern Ghana into a hotspot for continued physician education. How do we do this? We started what we call the CSA, Community Service Agenda. Within this program, we run a weekly presentation series during which time a topic expert gives a presentation on some high yield medical topic, diabetes, heart failure, malaria, etc. And by physicians attending these weekly presentations, either in person or online, they're able to get up-to-date information on the best evidence-based care approach for managing patient conditions and thus give the best quality of care possible. Medicine is a constantly changing field. Physicians globally have to access this kind of ongoing learning in order to do their jobs well. And previously in Northern Ghana, this just wasn't possible. But because of our project, for the last one year, we've seen the potential impact this kind of ongoing education can have. In a single year, we have seen an over quadrupling of the number of physicians willing to work in the Upper West Region. And similarly, we've seen the physician to patient ratio improve from one in 12,000 to one in 10,000. In just one year of work, that's very significant and it speaks to the impact this project can have on rural health equity in Northern Ghana. So we wanna continue this project. We wanna evaluate this project. We wanna see how this project applies in other similar communities around the world but we need your help to make it happen. We need your funding and your support in order to continue this project into 2023 and see how it can impact rural global health. Thank you so much for the support you've given us to GMH. We're very excited to celebrate our anniversary with you. We wish you health and happiness as we move into 2023 together. Bye for now from the GMH team. Wait, wait, wait. All right, Francis, do your wink. Wink, ah. wink. <laughs> Francis and I left her hard, I left her enough everybody, 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 everybody. Should we bring the bags? Should I bring the bags? Hey, you're, you're getting on the bus? Bye-bye.